the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. We'll pray for a few minutes. Very powerful. That, that last part. Just a moment. Come back. You would sing that last part again while we pray. The resurrected king is resurrecting me. This is how to lead people in worship. Powerful songs that carry a strong anointing upon them. Hallelujah. Very, very powerful. The resurrected king. You can only give what you have. If you have not tasted death and hell, how dare you claim that you have the power? We only have the power today because the one who tasted it gave it to us. Is someone learning? So we're going to pray in the spirit for the next 10 minutes. No distraction. You are praying to connect. You are insisting while you sing the last part of your song, where's that gentleman? You don't mind them, let them do the singing and we pray from the depth of our spirit. You're praying, the spirit is saying, Lord, tonight is my night. The resurrected king is in this place and that everything that is dead or dying must come back to life. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. Go ahead and declare. Let faith rise from your spirit, man. and pray let faith rise from your spirit the resurrected king is resurrecting me mm.
Go ahead and pray. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Say, every high thing must come down. Psalms 111, Psalm 111, every high thing must come down, every stronghold shall be broken, you wear the victor's crown, you overcome, you overcome, every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Feel this play. Ah. Shalanda Baratos Yada. Rua Kelohi. me for a man of god here yeah, tonight can be your night if you so wish lord why are things not working ministry is not working there is no increase you have been wounded because it looks like you push your effort healing is coming for you if you can receive apostle my issue is not 12 years old my issue is 30 years old welcome to the one who is able to do able to do no matter how long When you meet him you meet his power to heal his power to deliver his power to change apostle i'm desiring a b c d can god step in for me yes the god of the bible i don't know what god you are talking about but if you mean jesus christ the one who is the resurrected king lord and christ i assure you it is within his power and tonight can be your night tonight can be your night tonight can be your night we're going to pray it will be such an extraordinary move of the spirit in this place listen the most important role that you have to play tonight is to reach by faith there is a buffet the table of his majesty is prepared and set before you for all kinds of healing financial healing emotional healing spiritual healing restoration of fire honor dignity favor you are tired of the workings of darkness in your life in the next one minute i'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart and make up your mind say lord tonight is my night 
like the woman with the issue of blood you came as a family agree as a family you came as an individual agree as an individual you came as a business agree come on lift your voice and pray talk to the god of heaven Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Spirit of the Lord Ruach Elohim Pray Feel this prayer hallelujah there is such a mighty anointing of the spirit here please listen you are going to pray one prayer lord in this miracle service everything must work in my life must work in my life open your mouth and pray everything everything must produce results everything shalandegapata must produce results someone is praying everything 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 must produce in my life by the power of the holy spirit everything that left heaven for my sake must land upon my destiny this night favor increase healing restoration pray Shebada kata brande gete bala katosh kate brande. Skate brande bara tosh koto prata kata. if i may but touch the hem of his garment this issue can come to an end i know if i can but touch the hem of his garment he can come to me as the wisdom of god he can come to me as the power of god Pray one more minute. You're not wasting your time. You're releasing your faith. God is still in the business of lifting. He's still in the business of making. He's still in the business of empowering. He's still in the business of signs and wonders.
Made begeta sopranda gada balakosi. Hallelujah. You're going to shout Jesus once. And I want you to start bringing the people out, please. The power of God is ready to move. We're going to do is going to be a quick walk. Let your faith be open. Let, let your heart be open. Let your faith be alive. Jesus is visiting his people. I want to take time and really pray for the sick. But then I need to minister right now very quickly as the Holy Spirit is leading me. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Please help the ushers. There are several people, the ushers are trained, but no matter how many, they can be limited. So if someone is under the anointing close to you, please do well to bring them out here. That name that is above every other name. Listen, as you shout that name, there are certain people in this place that the doors that have been closed, making things to not work in their life, you have done the best you know to do and doors don't seem to be opening when a door opens all that is left is advancement you can walk through i'm about to pray for you right now the power of god is coming mightily upon you at the count of three one two three shout jesus in the name of jesus doors open doors open 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 that they go forward open bring them out we unlock the doors by prophecy we unlock the doors by prophecy we unlock the doors pray we unlock the doors please bring them out quickly we unlock the doors by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Shalagata branda gata pakarotos koto pratigata. Doors. Many of you will be surprised what is happening to you. I say it again. Doors. By the key of David that can open a door that no man can shut. And shut a door that no man can open. Every door that has been shut over your destiny, shut over your life. A father, that door is open now. That door is open now. The door of advancement, a father, be open now. Be open now. God is opening doors in the name of Jesus. That every door that stands before me that should be open. I declare it open by the key of David that is able to open a door that no man can shut. Bring them up. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. The power of God is coming on many people. And he say it's an anointing for restoration. Hear me. When that anointing comes on your life, you will be surprised that things that should have happened starts chasing you to look for you again. For some of you, by that anointing, you will be surprised that relationships, opportunities will return by the power of the Holy Spirit. At the count of three, may that restoration mantle wherever you are. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Take that anointing, take that anointing, strange restoration in ministry, restoration of your dignity, restoration of honor, restoration. Everything that used to work, that no longer works, I command that mantle to fall on you. That grace for restoration. And I will restore and I will restore and I will restore I'm still praying it again this anointing is coming on many people 
let there be restoration now son of man can these bones leave it says only thou knowest son of man can this family leave son of man can this ministry leave again son of man can this man of god leave again but i prophesy to you may that anointing come upon you now some of you were seated in the place of honor and something happened in your life and brought you down i command may that anointing take you back to that place may this restoration mantle let it take you back to your place of honor restore 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 we are still speaking restoration lord restore 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 Shanemana saga branda ga parata skote baleka te. Hear me, please look up. For some of you, when the devil attacked you and brought you down, he put someone to occupy your place. In the name of Jesus, we dislodge them now. Paratos kata we aparike te bata. Anyone sitting on your glory. A paraketa sitting on your job, sitting on your honor, sitting on your sacrifice by prophecy. I dislodge them now. Restore everything that I've lost. Restore. In the name of Jesus, restore. Hallelujah. I'm feeling fire in my left hand and I'm wondering what this is for. There are many of you like physical fire. You will begin to feel it on both of your hands. It's a strange anointing that God is placing on you right now as I'm speaking all over the congregation shabradikata is a, is a kind of anointing this thing is a ministerial grace is a gift of the spirit that god is granting you man of god prophet of god apostle pastor it's time to carry that grace there is an anointing upon your hands you will walk wonders with it bring them out that anointing is resting upon you I feel fire upon my hands for some of you is a healing anointing some of you is a breakthrough anointing let it come let it come let it come in the name of Jesus let it come Ale baranda gabaratos kadia your hands will no longer be ordinary hands your hands will no longer be ordinary hands in the name of Jesus hear me this fire is coming upon you it's a grace for multiplication it's not just a healing anointing alone I'm saying it again everyone here who cannot multiply what God gives you that anything he gives you remains at that level I release the grace for multiplication I release the grace for multiplication hallelujah now listen this next prayer is for everybody but please let me beseech you by the message of god you are going to be receiving while you look at your neighbor so that we manage the things that can happen here are we together now how many of you believe there is a grace for speed If you have never opened your heart to receive the grace for speed please i beseech you by the message of god here is your chance i'm going to pray you will be surprised people will start running that's why i said please help them i decree and declare father that fire that can energize a man a business a ministry 
and bring speed at the count of three some of you have been delayed in the name of jesus you are about to take that anointing now shout jesus at the count of three one two three speed 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 may that grace come upon you I release speed no more delay in destiny no more delay I don't care what altar has tied you down I prophesy speed speed every altar tie you down must release you now must release you now must release you now speed to your destiny man of god experience speed in ministry career person speed in career oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. Who is Rosemary? I'm hearing a name Rosemary. Is there someone with that name? Your name is Rosemary. Where are you coming from, madam? Come. Rosemary. Jesus. Who is Japheth? I'm hearing a name Japheth. 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 I want to pray for you. Where are you from, madam? This woman. From Delta State. Delta State. I want to pray for you. You came alone? My husband and my daughter. Is your husband here? And my daughter. Come. The Lord is about to turn the life of this family. Please, if he's here, can you call him? Husband, please come. I want to pray for you. The Lord is going to... What do you do? I'm a banker. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You are considering leaving the bank. Yes, sir. To where? My own company. I'm going to pray for you. You are in the will of God. I want to pray for you. I will not come and speak carelessly like this. Believe me because the lord will elevate you I, I look at the little girl kneeling down too in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands upon you and i pray i'm praying for you but it's your wife the anointing will come on this is very strange in the name of jesus i declare that you carry a grace a mantle for favor i release that grace upon you right now in the name of jesus christ nothing dies in your hands all of you are rosemary i will pray for you two of you the power of god is coming on you now that's all right i will pray for everybody i'm seeing two of you right now fire is coming on two of you two of the rosemary's in front here in jesus name i lose that chain i lose that chain i'm seeing a chain i lose it now the name of jesus christ lose that chain now let them go let them go let them go by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let them go in the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Where 
where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. I hope you are not embarrassed. Madam, I'm seeing you holding a basket that is supposed to look like a container. Anything poured in it goes down. What do you do? I'm a businesswoman. I want to pray for you. Huh? Planning. You are what? I'm into event planning. You are into event planning. I don't know. I'm just saying that I'm seeing you holding a basket, intending to hold a container that everything that is poured there goes down. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands upon you. You came for a miracle service. May this grace rest upon you that will turn your life around and everything fighting you. I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. One of you in front here will start shouting loud under the anointing. I don't know why, but God just gave me that word. In front, just in front here. Hello, him, Madonai. Hello, him, Madonai. Hallelujah. Sir, let me talk to you. This man, the one at your back, please come. Your life is about to change. Haranda Sakata Brande Galapo Hallelujah. Kai, God is showing me something that there is someone now. Please don't come out at random. I'm watching in a vision, I'm not even seeing the face of the person, but I'm seeing like an event. You were rising like on a ladder. Everybody was seeing you and beginning to clap for you. And suddenly I saw what looked like an arrow. It hit what you were holding and you started going down. This person I'm talking about. I hope I'm right, but I think it's a hold on, hold on, hold on. The person I'm seeing in my vision, you are a Yoruba person. Who is? Who is Wale? 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 Is there somebody like that? Oh, this man. Please come and stand. I know the lion. I know the lamb. I know the lion. I know the I believe in the lion. I believe in the lion. I believe in the lion. I will follow the lion. I will follow the lion. I will follow the lion. Sir, what do you do, sir? I'm an IT consultant. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a plane leave here and going to UK and coming back and going to UK again and coming back and going to uk again coming back do you have an office there i'd like you to prepare this is the next season of what god is doing look at me sir you are a good man but it's surprising you how you have not even risen to the level that your expertise should have taken you to i want to pray for you you see but let me tell you some things skill is very important but until your gift is anointed it will still not bless you being gifted and being anointed are not the same your gift must be anointed to find visibility wale mm. let them come sir can i pray for you please lift your hand this man father you have given us the grace to lift and to bless i stretch my hands upon you by reason of this anointing, I decree and declare, find favor. Find favor in the name of Jesus. And everything that fights you, I curse it right now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for you my dear brothers here Wale the Lord gave me that word in the name of Jesus there's one or two of you here there is a, a terrible demonic attack this is like a conspiracy over what you do in Jesus name I stretch my hands and I pray for you right now by the power this is what I'm hearing in my spirit having the readiness to judge every disobedience if your obedience is complete there are some of you that may need to go back and just make things right and get things right but I pray for you mercy is my first prayer and then in the name of Jesus by this anointing let there be restoration restoration the power of God is coming on one of you although you came out to receive I don't know what for but there is a call of God upon your life and God has been working on you in the name of Jesus I declare may that grace this grace is not for manifestation is a grace for the secret place in Jesus name I stretch my hands may that grace come upon you God will make you God will build you until you become a mighty battle axe in his hands in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ every one of you who has stood here in the name of Jesus go back and experience restoration in Jesus name I pray never see my outstretched hand until they humble themselves and pray and seek my face turning from their wicked ways it says then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land please swallow your pride tonight please swallow your pride tonight I respect your pedigree but like the 20 and 4 elders remove your golden crown and cry before the maker please pray one more minute thank you oh my father for giving us your son and leaving your spirit till your work on earth is done cheap victories that you would have received but because the mercy of God kept coming to your house kept coming to your business the mercy of God kept coming to your ministry kept coming to your job but it kept returning because it did not find brokenness don't let it return again it came 2015 pride and arrogance did not allow the mercy of God rest upon you 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 here is your chance again win that war of destiny once and for all lord if you don't help my children i don't have the power to help them lord if you don't help my business i don't have the power to help if you don't help me from this addiction i don't have the power to save myself if you don't help me from this financial situation the bills that are on me will destroy me thou son of david here at this conference have mercy upon me have mercy upon my children have mercy upon the works of my hands a broken and a contrite spirit oh god thou wilt not despise hallelujah listen we're wrapping up I'm going to pray over your request now true story I know a woman who was diagnosed with cancer and they had done everything they knew to do she was afraid of chemotherapy because I think she had read all kinds of things online that it does not guarantee survival and I stand before the God of heaven and I'm telling you this story this woman went out of her way at a point she said according to her 
she was listening to one of my teachings and she decided to spend a, to have a personal vigil with God not asking for anything just rolling and crying and say Lord I'm not afraid of dying but please if I am going to die please arise for my children this is all I am asking and the Bible I mean the woman <laughs> I said the Bible she cried and cried and slept and that when she lay down and slept, she just saw that a man entered the room, true story, reached his hand into her and brought out something. Ladies and gentlemen, when that woman got up, that was how that thing started shrinking and disappeared from her body. The race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy on. Some of you, let me tell you the truth. Right now, the situation you have found yourself, it is the mercy of God that you need. Some of you are doing well by yourself. Your major problem is your children. Some of you are not even doing well sincerely. It will take the grace of God. Now, please hear me. I told you that healing and provision, it also extends to signs and wonders. They are, they are manifestations of God's mercy. I have a covenant with God. I have read the scripture. I have a covenant of answered prayers with God. I will tell you this by the God of heaven. Please, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, is there anyone? I'd, okay. Go ahead. Please, ushers. Because the next... The next five or so minutes will be a sense now you know what mercy is in case you wrote it down and unbelief made you to remove some things let me assure you let your faith rise because God is about to surprise you we are in the zone of mercy so let there be no fear the one who is merciful is also the all powerful I'm saying it again if it means you writing something again writing for your children a group of very wealthy real estate people came and they demanded to see me and I said what what is this for and they came and met me and they said apostle we had a discussion and we came to the conclusion that we're going to have a covenant with God over you that anywhere on earth we build our estate we must build a house for you there this was some years ago it's not something that is recent I said what is the meaning of this what did I do? They said, this is our agreement with God. Wanted to look for something that represents the kingdom there. Anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I apologize if it sounds like pride or whatever. I cannot tell you how many estates these people have built today across Nigeria and Africa. And every, I've not gone to one of the houses to even check and say, this is my key. They just bring the papers and say, go and drop them. Go and drop them except the Lord builds a house don't you think I don't know what I'm saying hallelujah a group of business people came and met me and said apostle we agreed that we're going to make you a non-executive board member I said what does that mean very big we're not talking of small little companies what is my own contribution and they jokingly said you represent the presence of God and the ark of God in that business Okay, so what am I going to be doing? Praying for you? I can pray. I don't need to be any. I can just pray. Say, no, this is our conclusion. And the only thing I can say after that is to God be the glory. Can I tell you? Everything you are looking for is also looking for you. But hear me. It takes the mercy of God. The mercy of God. I was living in a particular nation. This was like three, four years ago. I, I was done and... There were some American people who came. Uh, they were doing a partnership, a real estate partnership with the, the, that country. And the pastor and the group of business people, they just stood. I was hurrying up to go and rest and prepare, get to the airport and return back to the country. And they met us and they said, well, we're developing properties here. And we just want you to know that we have put five properties for you here. I said, five? Who are you people? What are you doing? 
till today I've not gone there to say this is how my house is a woman who relocated not too long ago to the UK from Ghana just called me and they bring me papers and keys and the photo of a house it will be like the maybe the Ikoi or Leki now in Ghana magnificent structure and said the Lord said I should give it to you I'm leaving I've not gone there it was my protocol that when I was in Ghana I said you should just go and see it I just know that God bless you is there whatever happens to it just leave it there first have you read the scripture that says when the Lord turned again the captivity I'm sorry if I hope you you are not misunderstanding what I just told you can I tell you when the mercy of God rests upon your life, you will lay up gold as dust. Believe me when I tell you this. That what somebody is praying for, God will carry it and bring it to you and knock your door. And you will open it and you will see it like a parcel there. I'm saying that because something is about to rest. Be patient. The next two minutes here. Please, I know that you've been praying. You've prepared for this meeting. Please don't waste your moment. Don't be like the man... Who the king leaned on and said, even if God will open the windows of heaven, must this happen? And he saw it, but did not eat of it. Please, in one minute, where's the prayer request? Have you dropped it? We are going to pray. In one minute, I'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart. Father, these that I've written here, arise in your mercy. And let this be the last time. I will write it as my prayer request. Please. Please make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Take your eyes away from the limitations. Look unto the God of mercy who can visit men and turn their lives around. Someone is praying. Foundations of Sapphire, are you praying? King's Court, are you praying? You are praying this for your family. Bring your family in this prayer. Bring your children in this prayer. Your business, your ministry. here turning lives around I worship you I worship you you are here mending broken hearts I worship you I worship you Way maker, miracle walk, promise keep light in the darkness. That is who you are. We call you way maker, miracle walker, promise keep light in the darkness. That is who you are. You are. 
Covenant keeping God You are the covenant keeping God Yahweh, Yahweh The covenant keeping God In the name of Jesus, the ah, I sense such an anointing in this place. My God, my God, my God. Do you know what I'm seeing in the spirit? I want you to write it down. I'm just seeing doors opening. Honestly, I stand by the God of heaven. Very strange doors opening. This is what I'm seeing. Some of you, you didn't even expect it. Some of you, it's this week that is coming. We are not talking of something that is in the distance. Doors opening. Hear me? I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. And an elder tapped me and he said, weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of Jesse is worthy. It says, and I looked upon the throne and I saw a lamb as though it had been slain, having seven eyes and seven horns. Father, I bow my knees to you, O God of my covenant, and I declare, I speak to you. These Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever hear me every blessing comes from God through men to men from God through men to men there are times that God says yes. But the human vessel who should partner with God for your testimony is not ready. Let me call them by prophecy. Anybody, whether in Lagos, in Nigeria, or across the globe, who has been anointed and mandated to partner with prophecy and has not responded to the voice of the Spirit, right now we compel them to partner with god hear me every door that has been closed over your destiny for a long time because i'm 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 seeing doors i'm still telling you i'm i'm seeing listen do you know what a door is a door is a device that midwives two rooms or two rams. Doors are the provisions that connect seasons. Midwifing one season to the other is a door. And if that door is closed, a season cannot come to an end for another one to open. Let me pray again. Anybody who is standing at the door and that door that opens you to the next season has refused to open, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we open that door now. 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 Hear me. He said, go to the place where the roads divide. You will see a cold there that no man has ridden upon. He said, lose it. And if they ask you, Haragatusia. I'm, I'm seeing like, I'm seeing like fire just coming on like seven people. Just help them. I just saw that anointing right now. Right now. Just help them. You don't have to bring them out. But help them. Someone uh, is, is like a chain that is breaking up someone's life right now. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bands of iron in sunder. I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus those chains be broken by the anointing of the Holy Spirit everything that has tied you and held you bound help that woman please be broken now
help that woman please help them please everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen hear me he said when they ask you why are you losing a code that no one has written on it means there are virgin opportunities that no one has touched god kept listen even the owner of the cult has not written it that means there are people holding certain things it is not for them they are caretakers but at the command of the king he said release it and if they question you say it is a, a, a triumphant entry you cannot have a triumphant entry walking barefoot therefore i speak over your life anyone who has been made a caretaker over any blessing that should come to you in the name of jesus may they release it for you now there is a woman here your right leg you've had severe pains just i'm feeling the pain right now as i'm standing just the right side who is that woman the lord wants to set you free now i don't intend to take so much time but i mean i i when i came in here i sense an investment of prayer and preparation i know that people have prayed and prepared believe in miracles so my dear look at me you love jesus what's your name i want to pray for you don't feel embarrassed eh? there is something that god is taking out of your life right now i stretch my hands and i curse every spirit huh i'm seeing limitation in the name of jesus be free right now by the power of the holy spirit what's your name my dear this lady shaking her head leave that for tomorrow who is gladys what's your name gladys. Gladys. where are you from i have to pray for you i'm not a prophet of doom eh? but i'm looking at you and i'm seeing your hands and feet tied in the spirit this is what i'm seeing you are a sincere lady but there is no progress no moving forward people will promise to help you and by the next day they just let me prophesy to someone if there is any embargo on your life that makes people desiring to help you uh, help this woman help that oh my god please help her in the name of jesus help them please by the power that raised christ from the dead right now i use a package be free now be free now everything that has tied you that will not let you go forward by the power that raised christ from the dead go forward now go forward now i pray for all of you who are having pains in the name of jesus There are two people here. You saw me in your dream. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just listen to what I'm saying first. You saw me in your dream. And in that dream, I was ministering to you. This is, this is something God wants to release you from. I'm going to pray for you right now. Please don't come out at random make sure that there's order in the house of god let's not come out at random you don't have to come out you can stand where you are i presume that so many of you because you've listened to the teachings where wherever you are but i'm going to pray for you someone will shout right now loud under the anointing
Aha, that's right. Something is happening here. Something, help them. Something is happening here. I'm seeing like angelic ministrations. Help them, please. Angel, help them, please. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. I'm seeing angelic ministrations. These are they not ministering spirits? Send to minister to they that be the heirs of salvation. In the name of Jesus, we release the ministry of angels. We, we release the ministry of angels to families, to homes, to businesses. Help this woman. We release the ministry of angels right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be healing right now. Every part of your limbs, let there be healing right now. I decree and declare if there is anything that is connected to witchcraft help this lady i remove that demonic thing from your body now for the bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father i declare let it be uprooted now please hear me do you know that many attacks on your health is actually an attack on your finances it's not really the health it is the supplies be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you. Please, you can return to your seat. Just one last prayer and I'm done. Please, someone can come and help me pack this request. I want to pray over people here because the Lord is opening my eyes. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm seeing a casket like a coffin. And the Lord is saying I should rebuke the spirit of death. Do you know, let me tell you, there is a spirit that has been released across this nation. You have to pray. You see people just dying anyhow. People don't die anyhow. Oh. Uh -uh. oh, death, where is your sting? And no grave, where is your victory? The devil wants to just come and waste the lives of people just like that. I want to pray for you. And this extends for you and also your loved ones. Right now, anyone here, Shabrakatos, Katebalakatos here, who is a victim? Or there is an operation of the spirit of death around your life my god I'm, I'm just sensing like fire leaving my hands lord i don't know where they are help them please in the name of jesus i declare by the spirit of life and even by the mercy of god be delivered from death now whether by accident by the sword by sicknesses be delivered from death now And if there is any stranger roaming around your body in the name of a sickness or a terminal disease whether cancer whether hepatitis whether blood condition please in one minute rebuke it in one minute rebuke it i declare my liberty by the mercy of god from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be high from the rising of the sun For those of you who are following online, watching by television, or you are connecting through the internet, you may be wondering, Apostle, how do we get our requests here? Let me tell you what you need to do. If you can't send it, I want you to just write your prayer request and then lift it as a point of contact while I pray, expecting the God of all grace and mercy to visit you. Are we done? I'm about to start praying now. Is there someone? Okay, please help. Uh, we have our father there. Please everyone begin to pray in one minute while you are standing. Lord, you who is the God of mercy, arise for me. Please don't keep quiet. Pray in one minute. Arise in your power. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her. Yea, the set time has come. Please 
pray, pray. Go ahead and pray. God of wonders will arise for someone believe me for somebody writing this testimony you will keep recording testimonies till this year is done hallelujah now here's what I want you to do you don't have to kneel I'll do the kneeling for you as I kneel to pray please in one minute I'd like you to cry because some of you have cried and cried cry to the God of all mercy Lord these Egyptians I see today May I see them no more forever. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. No distraction. We have just a minute or two. Someone is praying. You came to church this morning. Healings. Miracles supernatural provisions by the mercy of God liftings, restorations deliverances from the valley of the shadow of death someone pray, someone pray someone pray You're praying. My God, His mighty presence in this place. Fill this place. If someone pray, an end comes to captivity. Oh God of mercy, arise in your power, arise in your mercy, visit families, visit destinies, visit ministries, visit businesses. Hallelujah. I want you to agree with me and please shout a resounding amen when we begin to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of prophecy, I declare unto you that these Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever
for someone here in the name of Jesus my God is bringing you restoration before the end of this month not next year not next month how God will begin to move people and things will surprise you let it be for you in the name of Jesus For someone here, God is saying, I should tell you that that missing donkey is on his way back home. I'm saying this by the Spirit of God. That missing donkey is on his way back home. You will understand what God is saying. That missing donkey is on his way back home. For someone here, God is speaking to you with five loaves and two fish you will feed 5,000 and yet 12 baskets will be left. In the name of Jesus Christ. For another person here, it will be for you like it was for Mordecai. The Bible says that night could not the king sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And they opened where Mordecai saved the life of the king and was not honored. In the name of Jesus, let the book of remembrance be open for your sake. Just be sensitive. One minute and we're wrapping up. Hmm. Something is happening in this place. This woman, I'm seeing oil coming on her. This woman close to the one lifting her hands. Help that woman. I just saw oil and the Lord is saying it's the oil of favor. The oil of favor. I use her as a point of contact to pray for everyone here. Help them please. Where you have not seen favor in your life. In Abakadosh Katebakata. May that grace rest upon you now. You don't have to bring them out. May that grace rest upon you now. Hallelujah. Please hear me. When Jesus was born, the spirit of the Antichrist through Herod wanted to seek for him and kill him. They hid him somewhere and the angel appeared and told Joseph, he said, you can now return. Those who seek the life of your child are gone. I pray for you in the name of jesus christ those who seek your downfall those who seek your tears those who want evil to continue in your life those who laugh with you in the open but go back in the secret and wish you evil may the god of judgment arise in the name of jesus in the name of jesus I'm looking at hands in the realm of the spirit God is showing me but I'm seeing the hands empty there is nothing on them can I tell you empty handedness is a cause I want to rebuke it from your life father I cry to you in the name of Jesus oh God of mercy arise everyone here every family here represented who have suffered the cause and the plague of empty handedness may my God visit you this morning Anyone here trusting God for a job you have applied you have done everything you know to do in the name of Jesus three months from today by the power that raised Christ from the dead may my God grant you rest hallelujah we're wrapping up please believe now let me pray I prayed a prayer yesterday that I want to repeat today if there is anyone here or any family the spirit of death has been looking for you through dreams you go to sleep and you see yourself dead people calling you the bible says what fellowship has, what what does the living have to do with the dead any spirit of the dead calling you in the name of jesus here at this conference by the power that raised christ from the dead i separate you from the spirit of the grave hallelujah I did say also yesterday 
that all blessings come from God through man to man. Please never forget this. All blessings come from God through man. That means you need both God and man to receive. Some of you, God said yes since 2017. But the men that must also say yes, the devil has been driving them from your life. Let me call them by prophecy. In the name of Jesus, every human vessel who has been ordained and assigned to partner with prophecy and bring the manifestation of the word of God in your life, in the name of Jesus, I release them right now to your destiny. I release them right now to your destiny. I release them right now to your destiny. Hallelujah. In one minute, I'd like you to pray for the foundations of Sapphire. My apologies for taking two or three minutes. Let's pray for our mothers, our aunties, the women in this church. Please open your mouth in one minute and cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, we pray for foundations of Sapphire. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, bless them. Honor them. Anoint them. Increase them. Multiply them. The sounds of mourning would not be heard in their midst. The sounds of shame and defeat would not be heard in their midst. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray and cry for destiny help us. And list these four groups of people. Divine connectors. Men and women of influence. Gifted people. And more importantly, burden bearers. Lord, I need to move to the other side of my destiny. Send me this group of people. Go ahead and pray. Outside, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Send me divine connectors. Who will connect me to the men and the women that can help me. Send me men and women of influence. Whose credibility will provide a leverage for me in life. Send me gifted people, oh God. Finally, send me burden bearers. That when I cry, let someone be there to cry with me. When I rejoice, let someone be there to rejoice with me. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you that as you have prayed, some of you beginning from today, the sun will not go down until this group of people begin to find you. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. Please rise up on your feet if you can. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. The Bible says be anxious for nothing. It says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known don't assume that god knows it let your request be made known now please look at me carefully this is the most accurate representation of your desires no matter how i prophesy i see in parts no matter how i intend to bless you there is a limit to what god can show me but you are the one who wrote this by yourself. It is the most, it is the most focal representation of your desire. Even your most desperate desire. The Bible says, On to him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I want you to stretch your hands to the altar here. And in one minute, begin to pray. Those outside, stretch your hands to your screen. And now you begin to pray. I'm going to bow my knees prophetically. And I'm going to agree with you. You don't have to kneel. You just stand and pray. I will do the kneeling. This is how you will know God visited you. Stretch your hands. Unto you that answers prayers. Shall all flesh come. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Stretch your hands and declare, Lord, you are answering my prayers and giving me rest round about. You are answering my prayers 
and giving me rest round about you are answering my prayers and giving me rest round about 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 in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray and I want you to agree with me with a resounding amen father in the name of Jesus Christ I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ and I bring before you the petitions the tears the requests the pain the points of concerns of your people I'm kneeling on their requests these are the reasons why they have cried for some these are the reasons why they have been starved of sleep for some this is the reason why their homes are almost tearing apart for some this is the reason why they have not found joy all through this year oh God I pray in the name of Jesus the son of the living God answer every one of these requests answer every one of these requests in the name of Jesus Christ every human agent who must partner with the Holy Spirit to allow for answers of this prayer we command their ministries right now in the name of Jesus and every wicked spirit responsible for this pain and these tragedies here written and represented I decree in the name of Jesus their hands and their influences are taken out of this request by the power of prophecy I declare unto you that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today financial Egyptians marital Egyptians health Egyptians you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ so shall it be in Jesus name I pray please lift your hands and let me speak prophetic words over you as we wrap up in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God every door that has been closed over your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead I speak over those doors be open now be open now everything that has left your life that should not have gone by the power of prophecy between now and the end of April I command them to return back to you in the name of Jesus Christ he said why seek ye the living among the dead everywhere you have been searching wrongly may my God redirect you to the right place let me pray for those trusting God for jobs in the parable that Jesus gave there were others who were sitting idle and he told them why sit ye idle and they said no man employ us and he said they should go to the vineyard when the master speaks there must be space for you I decree and declare all those trusting God for jobs between now and the next three months may the Lord give you supernatural jobs in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ two more prayer points the kind of honor that you have never seen in your life I call upon the God of my covenant may that man to rest upon your life by this grace for honor let shame and reproach be driven far from your life finally I pray for you according to Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the favor that you need to excel in life 
may that favor rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ shortly I'm going to be leaving but the testimonies that will erupt from this time you will keep testifying till the remaining part of this year in the name of Jesus Christ the final prayer I'll pray for you is over your spiritual life we cannot end this meeting without speaking over your spiritual life I did speak yesterday but let me speak again let me encourage you to cultivate a fire and a passion for the things of God your prayer life must be up and doing your word study life must be up and doing your passion for the house of God must be up and doing are we together now separate yourself from wrong relationships that will not help you to grow spiritually I declare fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh grace to study the word like never before may your love for Jesus multiply more and more may you have results in your Christian life I cultivate passion for the house of God in the name of Jesus Christ will rest upon your life mantles are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight for the kings to be born for revival to return for the kings to arise for revival to return yeah Ali Ali yo Ali yo Ali yo Ali Ali yo oh oh Ali Ali yo Ali yo Ali yo Ali Ali yo Now hear me we are going to get into a prayer session right now and please let me encourage you don't allow Satan cheat you at this session forget about who you came with and you are going to cry to God Father let my destiny become a feast of light from tonight light from heaven as touching the areas of need fall upon my life go ahead and pray outside pray inside pray And he called the light day and the darkness he called night grant me access to the light that turns my night to day man of God are you praying businessman are you praying champion in the making are you praying apostle in the making are you praying prophet in the making are you praying evangelist are you praying kingdom financier are you praying expose my areas of ignorance open me up oh god to the areas I do not have sufficient light what principle controls lifting what principle controls spiritual health and wellness what principle controls prayer fire what principle controls a healthy word life what principle controls influence what principle controls relationships what principles control character what principle controls me grant me by your spirit reveal to me someone is praying what principle controls complete total deliverance and freedom from demonic forces
to me that he was giving me a ministry that will be global affecting people from nation to nation and at the time that word came there was really nothing much at that level but I found in his word Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 that it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to do and to observe all that I command you this day that you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth and that this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you I found it I found it it was a revelation to me I prayed and I said Lord as a man of God I don't want to just produce people who are spiritually healthy and are suffering and not able to contribute to society and the Lord took me to Genesis 17 and verse 6 Genesis chapter 17 and verse 6 I will make thee exceeding fruitful he said and I will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of you I believed him I believed him when I got to a point in my life where I needed structural establishment I said Lord if you don't help me how much is one block how much is land except you are a thief and I found Psalm 44 and verse 3 he said they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their arm save them 44 and verse 3 he says but the right hand and thine arm and the light of thy countenance because thou hast a favor unto them When I desired a destiny of color and beauty, a destiny branded with a unique expression of God's grace, I found a key in Job chapter 29 from verse 1 to 4. Moreover, Job said, I remember verse 2. He says, in the months past, as in the days when God preserved me, verse 3, when his candle shined upon my head and when by his light I walk through darkness I found out that there are two kinds of light there is the one that shines on your head and there is the one that shines on your path the one that shines on your head is for illumination the one that shines on your path is for direction I said Lord give me both lights that was the light that empowered Job. he said by reason of this light his secrets were upon my tabernacle the young men saw me and they stood the aged saw me and they bowed their heads and I tell you, when you find it in truth, they are life to those who find them. Is someone learning? I prayed for one month studying on the favor of God because I knew that if I ever did ministry or lead my life without the favor of God, chances of compromise would be very, very high. And I said, Lord, grant me favor. What is the secret of favor? And the Lord opened my eyes to see it. Good understanding procured favor, but the way of the transgressor is hard. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so even Egyptians can favor you. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Exodus 11 and verse 3 still speaking about favor we are praying I'm challenging you to see the word basis all this balloon success that people rise and fall is because they are not fortified by the word when the word becomes the garrison and the basis of your confidence you do not need to fear because even if heaven and earth fails not one jot of his word will fail the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh, servants, and in the sight of the people. When I found it, Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, the B part says, And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. I came from a background with my own share of witchcraft and diabolic things and wickedness and I knew that
that there has to be a way to keep this wicked spirit at bay. And I found the key. Psalm 66. Say unto God, verse 1 now or 3? Verse 3. I hope I'm right on that. How terrible art thou in thy works? He said, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. When I desire influence, not for the sake of self-aggrandizement, for the sake of the kingdom, I found in Acts chapter 12, the first 10 verses, control, there was a key there that God opened my eyes. He said that when Peter was bound hand in chain and there were eight soldiers who bound him the bible says but prayer verse 4 was made or verse 5 now but prayer was made to god of the church for him and an angel came and loosed him and when an angel loosed him there were three gates that he passed the first word or the first gate the second word or the second gate and he said he came to the iron gate that opens to the city. There is a gate that opens to the city. It's the iron gate. If that gate does not open, you can be in a city. And yet spiritually you are outside that city. The iron gate that opens to the city. I also found the key to influence being that in Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1 and 3 that Gentiles don't just come to you they come to your light and even their arrogant kings will not come to your light they will come to the brightness of your rising the consistency of your results can I tell you this please go back home and begin a definite project of searching the truth and the keys and the mysteries that control the various areas of your life. Can I tell you, if you spend the whole 2022 finding just three mysteries that work, three, maybe your spiritual health, maybe favor, and maybe the power of relationships, if that is the only mystery you find, you have made this year a fruitful one because when you truly find it, it will show. Let me wrap up by sharing with you a vision. Years ago, I fell into a very serious vision. God was showing me the power of knowledge and the corresponding anointing that comes from it. The Lord opened my eyes and I saw a giant like a gate. It was very ancient. And when I looked at it, I was zoomed into that vision. And I found out that that door or that gate was made of smaller doors. And on every one of those doors, a scripture was written. And I noticed they were opening and closing, the smaller doors, opening and closing. And every time they open, light will come from it. And the Holy Spirit revealed to me that every one of those scriptures and those smaller doors, they represent dimensions of the believer's possibility in Christ. Every time you catch the revelation corresponding to the scripture written, the engracing and the anointing to defend that scripture is released to your life. And your life becomes a testament of that profession of faith. That means everything you claim to know and you have not received the grace to defend it, you do not know it enough. Remember our teaching on F? Maybe you have moved from 14 to 35. I congratulate you, but it is still F. Continue moving. A day will come your consistency will cross E and C and B and you will now by the privilege of God's grace you will stand tall in the realm of masters. He said he that strives for mastery is not crowned unless he strives lawfully. Is someone ready to pray one last prayer? Lord I obtain grace and discipline to contend for strategic light. I obtain grace and I obtain discipline. I'm about to minister to you now. Grace and discipline. Someone pray. I obtain grace and discipline. I obtain grace and discipline. I obtain
obtain grace and discipline hallelujah praise the name of the Lord hallelujah one of the mysteries that move us forward is the power and the ministry of the anointing the anointing is able to come upon a man and cause you to rise Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2 he said unto me son of man stand up upon your feet and Ezekiel had no strength verse 2 says and the spirit entered into me and he set me upon my feet there are times you want to rise the desire is there but the engracing is not there there are three things that will happen right now very quickly I'm going to be ministering speaking over your life and then because of time I'll just pray generally for the sick and the oppressed and then because of the weather I may not want people rolling inside and outside so I'll just do a general speaking please forgive me I'm sure that another time I hope about you again this time around I'm sure that we'll organize it you will not be in a place like this we'll look for somewhere bigger and God will give us the opportunity to now minister and prophesy to us in details and God will grant us grace in the name of Jesus but my assignment tonight is that something must come from heaven upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ if you are sick in your body I want you to lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle you are sick in your body please lay your hand right now You are my hiding place You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance Whenever I am afraid I will trust in you I will trust in you let the weak say I am strong In the strength of the Lord I will trust in you I will trust in you Let the weak say I am strong In the strength I want to pray for you I believe in the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit many of you you have suffered too long with devilish infirmities that must give way right now as I say in the name of Jesus I want you to shout a loud believing amen both inside and outside in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I command every spirit that is back of any infirmity plaguing anyone here by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare be released right now in the name of Jesus be released right now in the name of Jesus right now I declare be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every eye condition be healed now in Jesus name every bone condition be corrected now in Jesus name pains around the joints and around the back be healed now in the name of Jesus blood conditions hepatitis I decree and declare be healed now in Jesus name migraine pounding migraine headache I curse you in the name of Jesus Christ 
blood diseases of all sorts in the name of Jesus the Christ of God I bring you life and healing right now heart palpitations be healed in Jesus name peptic ulcer be healed in Jesus name all kinds of lumps and growths around your body be healed in Jesus name and every other sickness whether mentioned or not by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Stephen Stephen now it's going to be difficult to minister because there are so many people outside and um, I'm sure that I will step outside a bit just to speak over them and I don't want people we don't have to bring people outside they would mess up this place with because of the who is Stephen but all the same if you go home dirty and delivered it's a good bargain is there someone with the name Memuna Memuna I just heard that name Memuna whether you are inside or outside who, who has that name Memuna that's your name you are a lady Memuna Please verify, make sure that. Is that your name, my dear? My friend, the gentleman in white, what do you do? You're a student. I want to pray for you. The Lord is raising you to be a savior to your family. You believe that? Where are you from? Please don't bring people at random. Make sure that they... Madam, where are you coming from? Adamawa. Your name is Memuna. Is the mic working? I'm looking at you and in a vision, I'm seeing a road that had passed before in Adamawa and it takes me to a place, Mubi. Where are you coming from? Huh? Mubi. Am I doing something wrong? No? Praise God. I'm looking at this woman. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. But I'm looking at you and I'm not seeing a human being. I'm seeing somebody wrapped up by snakes. This is what I'm seeing. I want to pray for you. Can I pray for you? I stretch my hands right now. I command that devil out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out now by the power of the Holy Spirit. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun, your name is to be hallowed. Jesus I declare complete deliverance for you not only you but this is a family thing just tying people down I release you this captivity comes to an end okay let me just pray my conscience will not leave me if I leave this place and I know that I did not pray and minister to you I'm going to pray right now I don't know how we are going to do it but there are people who have been under all kinds of yokes. The power of God is going to come on you now. Inside and outside. You are tired of certain things. Occurrences of darkness. Let's see how we can just bring a few here. If the space is exhausted, that's fine. I'm going to begin to pray. Inside and outside and the power of God will come upon you to bring deliverance. Even inside this auditorium, I'm already seeing people that the power of God will touch. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare anyone who has been a victim of the operation of darkness, lives and destiny tied down 
by all kinds of demonic things the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and even holiness and the sons of jacob help that lady right now i'm about to dislodge those devils of darkness at the count of three i want you to shout jesus bring those who are, on, are under the anointing out here are you ready one two three shout jesus i command every devil let them go now bring them out in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit please help them whether you are an usher or not let me just have them out here in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every devil and every spirit release their destinies right now my god fire is burning here inside and outside all those outside lift your hands at the count of three i want you to shout jesus and every planting that is not of god that devil must give way right now are you ready one two three shout jesus come out of their destinies now release their destinies by the power of the holy ghost upon mount zion there shall be deliverance I blot out handwritings and ordinances, ill speakings, everything that does not name the name of Christ. I tell you, fire is falling outside by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Now listen, there are some of you here as you are standing here you are representing your families i'm going to pray for you the power of god will come upon you but that deliverance is for your entire family i'm praying again lord i don't know where they are families that have been tied down and will not move forward at the count of three that anointing is coming upon you now one two three take that grace now i command every devil release them now release their families now please help them up the balcony outside release them now release their ministries now sir what do you do this man what do you do huh you are a... huh please help us with the mic are you are you in ministry ministry your own church your own name ministry yes sir what else do you do I'm going to pray for you. Your fashions will take you to places you did not believe. Look at me, sir. You believe what I'm telling you? I stretch my hands and I declare. Let an anointing come upon you that will give you access to the hearts of kings. Take that fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. I release you into a new season by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, there is someone in this room you are called into the prophetic the power of god is coming on you right now right now right now as i'm speaking i open that season for you spring up her wells i declare may that dimension be opened now i open the fountain of the prophetic this couple are you husband and wife sir husband and wife please hold your hands together I'm seeing there is a strong prophetic grace. I release that grace right now upon both of you. In the name of Jesus, please help her. I decree and declare, I don't know whether you're in ministry or not, but step into a new season of the prophetic by the power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That power is still coming on people. I'm still seeing people inside and outside. There are some of you, God has been working on you. You've been fasting and praying and preparing and building stamina. 
something is about to come upon your life in fact for two of you you have seen me ministering to you in dreams you saw it prophetically it was like an impartation i'm praying for you right now please help them please help them by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god inside and outside right now let that fire fall upon your head in the name of jesus help that lady please two of you lift your hands these two people you and you these two of you i want to pray for you what do you do you are pastors you are stepping into a new season hear me do ministry with integrity i stretch my hands at the count of three that fire is coming on both of you step into a new season now take that fire in the name of jesus christ you will never, never be the same by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life is changed. Never be the same. You've touched His grace. Hallelujah. Who works with UBA, United Bank for Africa, UBA? I just saw the logo of UBA. Who is that person? Your season has come. Come. How long have you been with them, my dear? Two years. Is she the only person I want to pray for you? I'm seeing somebody who works in UBA. There is a very strange lifting that God is bringing for that person. I use you as a point of contact. I will pray for you, but this is... Who is that person? You work in UBA? For how long? For how long? In the name of Jesus, I pray for you both by the power of the Holy Spirit that you step into a new level I shift you by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ let favor speak for you even right now who has a name Jatau I don't know if it's your son name Jatau something there is Jatau I don't know if it's your name or your son name is there someone with that please verify verify before you bring people out what's your name ma what is it your son name what's your what are your full names who is josephine what's your name josephine jato what's your name give her the mic please help us with this mic i don't know josephine josephine jato do i know you ma i want to pray for you what do you do God is going to lift you in a very strange way. Do you believe in the power of prophecy? My dear, shout Jesus as loud as you can. That anointing that has come upon you, captivity comes to an end. Please cover her in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I bring you life and I bring you victory. My Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. It says, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Do you read that in your Bible? Liberty precedes transformation. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Then it says, we all, the liberated ones now, with unveiled face, beholding him as in a mirror, he says, we are changed from glory even to glory. I pray for you, Josephine Jatel, by the power that raised Christ from the dead even within the banking sector find favor i release that grace upon you it begins to speak evidently in your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there is someone i'm seeing a vision of your loved one i don't know if it's cancer but i'm seeing like their stomach is swelling it's like they have fluid or something within their stomach i'm going to pray for the sick shortly I don't know if there's anyone, whether you are inside or outside, for sake of time, I want to 
will pray for you. If you are outside, no problem. You can just lift your hand where you are. I'm seeing someone, the stomach is swelling. That's your loved one now. And it's like they are saying there is a fluid or something inside the stomach. Our time is gone. We have to wrap up. You're the one. Who is that person? Your loved one? You? Oh, you. I hope you are not embarrassed, madam. What did the doctor say? You are the lady that just came out here. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Okay, place your hand on your stomach. I will pray for you. I will pray for the sick. Now, let me use the opportunity and pray. If you know you or anyone has particularly any kind of growth, whether fibroid, whether any kind of malignant growth or whatever it is around, just lay your hand. You don't have to come out. Just lay your hand where you are. Or if you are standing for someone, please just lay your hand there. I want to pray particularly for those with growth. Whether you are male or female, you are standing for someone, just make contact with yourself. Please lay your hand there. Let's hurry up so we can finish. Look and leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus Christ and leave. It is recorded in his word. outside make sure you are praying a mighty deliverance is going to happen here now before we pray for the sick what is deliverance a separation between you and a spirit or you and a limitation it is not always about spirit a separation between you and conditions that are unfavorable at the count of three the power and fire of God is going to fall here right now. And I want you to bring those people out. Father, anyone here and any family, any individual who is under the influence of negative spirits, making Zion to be called an outcast in the name that is above all names and by the blood of the eternal covenant, every legal ground that Satan has over any individual, or any family by the blood of the eternal covenant as you shout the name Jesus I declare that your liberty comes are you ready now one two three shout Jesus I command altars I command yokes be broken now be broken now my God every altar 
bind down your destiny bring them out I curse it now I curse it now curses yokes of ancestry yokes connected to bloodline yokes release them now release them now release them now open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray I declare my liberty from every planting and every influence bring them out please every planting that is not of God over my life pray every fraternity with any spirit that is not of the Christ I announce and I declare my liberty let them go now I rebuke that spirit release them now release them now hallelujah now please look at me I'm still ministering deliverance negative patterns and negative cycles it comes and then it comes again it comes and then it comes again I'm seeing at least 25 people father I don't know where they are these spirits that cause repetition of negative patterns at the count of three shout Jesus and your deliverance comes one my God two three shout Jesus be free be free be free negative patterns tying your family tying individuals bringing them to states where they recycle pain where they recycle shame where they recycle negative conditions be free hallelujah I'm seeing the anointing of the Holy Spirit go to the worship team and the Lord is telling me I have answered your prayer I don't know who that is I have answered your prayer this is what God is saying I have answered your prayer may that anointing rest upon that person it is between you and God you know what you have been asking him for but the Lord is saying I have answered your prayer and what he says to one he says to all let me prophesy over someone who has been praying over a long-standing issue in the name of Jesus what he has done for a brother or sister there may it be extended to you right now the power of witchcraft negative dreams negative experiences in the name of Jesus repetitive experiences negative experiences I command those spirits now let them go let God's people go release them now please stretch your hands towards me you are about to receive in the realm of the spirit and it will manifest between now for some of you even this night that is outside of you will see people come to testify here I'm saying it to you because I'm, I'm just it just distracted me in this vision I'm looking at what looks like a box and then I'm seeing it being given to people that's why I said stretch my hands in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands back at you prophetically receive that which God has for you for some of you it's a job receive it hallelujah there is someone here you have been trying to buy a house the house you are negotiating the person to sell it for you the price you have been trusting that they bring it down this is one of your major concerns please hear me you will come and stand here and testify because something will happen this night in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for all of you who are who came out here in front every foul spirit that has oppressed you in the name of Jesus be released now never to return in Jesus name I pray 
amen and amen let's pray for the sick now the lord is bringing healing for the last two weeks i've been hearing a name in fact it made me read it because you know i just said is it for me or whatever it is i've not really known so much about it cholesterol that word high cholesterol and i had to go and sit down and i've heard about it passively you know but i had to go and study it and i kept hearing it even up until this afternoon as i prayed is one of the areas of healing god wants to bring for people i had to study it to know what what does it mean to say someone has high cholesterol because some of those things are death sentences i'm not a medical doctor but doctors here will tell you let's start with that and then every other area of sickness please if you are standing in for someone now is your chance whether you are standing in the hospital i know there are people in so many hospitals right now with patients following i want you to connect i'm about to pray for the sick i believe in the healing power of jesus but particularly i don't know those who have suffered from this high cholesterol issue probably you've gone to the hospital and they've told you or maybe the the symptoms have been around the lord began to speak this into my ears and as we pray i want you to believe you came with a sick person now is your time to receive and remember like i taught us here it is not only bodily infirmity for some of you you've lost a loved one you are trusting god to heal some negative experience in your life that has tied you down and you cannot move forward you had an accident and right now you can't move forward you are afraid of buying a car you are afraid of moving you lost a child you had a miscarriage and you are afraid of starting again again is a very powerful word again means in spite of again place your hand right now and let's pray everyone who is trusting god for a miracle if you're standing in for your loved one any part of your body at all now is your chance as we worship in your presence there is healing the holy spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus, I believe. Jesus, Jesus. there is healing in your name. Hallelujah. I know I'm ministering healing, but there is someone here, they stole from you. It's like something happened, thieves or somebody stole from you a business you are doing. And since that time you have not moved forward again where is the person come I'm praying for the sick now please make sure you understand what I'm saying we're still praying for the sick don't be distracted They stole from you. I know that most people may be coming out, but this person I'm talking about, they stole something significant from you and your life just went down like that. There are at least seven people right now, as I'm seeing in my vision, while I'm, this, I'm waiting for the other people to come, but there are at least seven people, the power of God is coming upon them. You, the, the fear you have is not just the regular fear for the unknown. This is the spirit of fear. Right now, I command that spirit by the power that raised Christ from the dead. And in the name of Jesus Christ, be delivered from fear now. I cast that spirit out of your life. I don't male female it has stopped you from taking daring steps you are afraid of everything you know it's an unusual fear be delivered from the spirit of fear now
let me pray for those who are here in front very quickly madam what do you do huh a minister of God also, but my, I don't know how I will explain it in the congregation. It's all right, madam. I understand. I'm going to pray for you. Listen, please look at me. God is able to restore time and God is able to restore things. He can restore the years, but he can also restore things. I don't know what it is that was stolen from you while praying for the sick but i want to pray for you some of you have cried some of you is money some of you is opportunity all kinds of things but i want to pray for you you came for miracle service i'm seeing a mystery the right hand of many of you shaking supernaturally by the spirit of god i, I don't know why i'm sensing even that fire on my own hands lord jesus Restore, 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 restore. It doesn't matter who did what. I'm placing an anointing upon you. Restore. Help mama. Restore in the name of Jesus. Everything that has been stolen that brought you down. And from that time you've not been able to move forward. I prophesy to you. Go forward now. Go forward now. Go forward now. Go forward now. The door is open before you. Go forward now. Hear me. Help this man. When it is time to pray for destiny help us, please make sure you open up your spirit. Because all blessings come from God, but they come through man to you. Hallelujah. I decree and declare any virtue that was taken from you spiritually negative soul ties demonic things that have tied you down so you cannot move forward I break it now I break it now I break it now be delivered now wasters of destinies stealers of glory i command a restoration now and a separation from these spirits go and excel for some of you it will not be up to one month god will restore you back in the name of jesus christ god bless you please return to your seat we are praying for the sick lay your hands please help mama just just help her if you are standing in for someone whether you are inside or outside following across the globe i'm about to pray for the sick right now believe in miracles jesus heals he truly truly heals miracles are real they are not stage managed no Lay your hands and let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Now here's what will happen. Please look at me. Just a quick instruction. It is important to testify of the wonder-working power of God. Tonight, we are not only going to allow those who have been healed to come. Everybody who has been imparted by this, you've been delivered a change has happened in your life supernaturally something miraculous has happened right now now listen to me many of you will be very surprised to see what has happened in your life and you have your evidence here let me pray for the sick and then I am going to give you two or three minutes we we'll only take a limited number of people but as many who have been touched I know that everybody has been touched but any striking notable miracle including that which is about to happen i want you to come and stand in front here or here will give you an opportunity to testify and then please listen many of you miss the remaining part of this service impartation and prophetic decrees are a major part of the miracle service you hear people come and testify not everybody is sick 
God may not call everybody's name and then we are constrained by time. When you want to have extended meetings like this, it will take a long time to be able to minister. But everybody should receive in the presence of God. And so please, if you are coming out, make sure that there is no delay. I'm going to be praying for the sick, but even if right now you know that the power of God has touched you, you've been delivered, it is still all right for you to start coming out so that we'll save time. But I want to pray for the sick. Remember what I told you about the woman with the issue of blood. You reach out by faith. You receive and then you check yourself doing what you couldn't do. The moment you find out that there's a miracle, I want you to run and come very quickly. Father, in the name of Jesus, the spirit that is back of any and all infirmities, health conditions, emotional conditions, spiritual conditions that are manifesting as illnesses in the name of Jesus Christ I declare be healed now be healed now blood conditions be healed now high blood pressure go down now and by the way if you need to quickly go and check yourself we have a medical stand there very trained professional doctors lab technicians and all of that so you can do well and someone if you need to check yourself say a miracle has happened and you want to verify you do that we make sure that we only announce miracles that are verified because we're ministering to the entire globe are we together right now in the name of Jesus Christ eye conditions be healed now ear conditions be healed in the name of Jesus anyone who could not walk I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit begin to walk now you could not stand begin to stand now you could not move any part of your body begin to move it now in the name of Jesus every lump every growth in any part of your body I decree and declare that it disappears now by the power of the Holy Spirit any terminal illness whether here or across the hospitals connecting in the name of Jesus I bring you life and healing in the name of Jesus Christ blood conditions be healed now there's a woman I'm seeing in a vision you have pains all over your body you can't tell exactly what it is but your joint pain you know how someone who is a sickler sickle cell anemia you know when they have this crisis that's how you feel perpetually it's like your body is hot there's just pain from head to toe the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone you had a dream and in that dream you saw that there was something wrong with the left part of your breast and you are already being you are already afraid because you've been sensing pains and a spirit has been ministering to you that most likely this is cancer by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed right now be healed right now the Lord is showing me an interesting case there's someone your is like your feet I don't know if it is rotting at the edges don't feel embarrassed I don't know if it's like something sort of like a fungal infection affecting your toes and this is something that is terrible and embarrassing you are even tired of it you've tried to treat it and it's not going in the name of Jesus I declare be healed now joint pains pains around your joints in the name of Jesus be healed lumbar spondylosis in the name of Jesus be healed be healed there's someone you went to the hospital and they told you something is wrong with your brain I don't know if it's cancer or a tumor or something literally in your brain I'm declaring to you right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead you shall I'm not die to to you, you shall not hell, die so that I can do my best with the gift of this life you have given me to represent you so thoroughly this has been my call and I'm inviting you to stop nominal Christianity average careless powerless Christianity that cannot bring glory to the name of the Lord and contend for something genuine 
There's gonna be a great awakening. There's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening. And everyone who calls on Jesus, they will be saved. There are still territories that are unreached. And they have been so frustrated, they hate anything Christianity. We need to bring the gospel of power once again to tell them Jesus saves, Jesus heals, Jesus delivers. There are many people who have tried this Jesus thing for want of words. And many of them are packing up a lot of things. After the pandemic, many people were not Christians again. They just said, you know what? I've been looking for a chance to hate Jesus officially. And now this pandemic gave me an opportunity. And with flimsy excuses, they justified their refusing the things of God. You try to talk to people about Jesus. Oh, their lives are full of bitter and painful stories. And they credit their pain to Jesus. Where was he when my loved one died? where was he when my my certificate has been lying like a piece of paper for decades i have prayed and cried for a job i have watched unbelievers use divination to get jobs and promotions let me announce to you that jesus is alive let me announce to you that jesus is still exalted ah he is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. He is exalted forever, exalted, and I will praise His name. He is the Lord forever. His truth shall be. that sleepest and Christ will give you life let me speak to someone that was why I started with the subject that we started with yesterday can I tell you don't get used to pain Jesus is still alive don't get used to failure don't get used to poverty don't get used to defeat it is true that Jesus died but for how long He only died for three days and he resurrected in glory. Triumphed over death. Shut the mouth of Hades. Can I tell you this? We serve a living God. I know that the world today looks like is Jesus there. There are all kinds of things. But let me tell you sincerely, the one who sits upon the throne is not scratching his head wondering what to do. He is almighty. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise a sound We raise a sound Please rise up on your For He is God and God alone Hallelujah Hallelujah to the one upon the throne We raise a sound We raise a sound Over the nations of the earth Hallelujah 
And the honor Father we lift our hands in worship As we praise your holy name You deserve the glory And the honor Father we lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name You are great You do miracles so great There is no one else like you There is no one else like you You are great You do miracles so great there's no one else like you hear me there is a reason why i ask please come pastor nath there's a reason why i ask i usually would not want to embarrass him this way but i know that there is an anointing on this chauffeur and please hear me as he blows this trumpet this is what is going to begin to happen there is an anointing i'm seeing a separation please i want you to bring those people out as he begins to blast this trumpet for some of you there is a quickening a strong impartation of grace is a manifestation of the power of the spirit upon your inner man please let's have those people out and then at the same time as he's blowing that shofar please hear me god is going to be opening strange doors eight long doors that have been closed over people yes sir please bring those people under the anointing i tell you i just see fire just moving across Bring them out. That mantle and that grace is coming on somebody. For a man of God, there is a new season. God is opening you up. Bring them out. There is a mantle that is coming upon you. For some of you, it's an activation of the prophetic. That prophetic man, Abakatosh Kadikata. Please bring them out. Please bring them out. Yeah. There's a release of the power of the Spirit coming upon your life. New season, new man. 
mantles. New mantles. Some of you have seen this in your dreams. You have seen this in your visions. Now the power of God is coming upon you. I ignite it. Let there be that activation upon your spirit man. Bring them out by the spirit of the living God. You'll never be the same tonight. By the blast of this trumpet, your spiritual ears are opening. For many of you, a miracle is happening to your hearing. Here, a A miracle is happening to your hearing. Where are they? Every deafness that stops you from hearing the voice of the Spirit. Let it be open right now. Let it be open right now to hear the sounds of the Spirit. Now hear me, hear me. Truly God has put a grace upon this man. And I want to leverage on that grace and release an anointing upon prophetic worshippers. There are some of you who are just singers, you are not yet worshippers. You need to master the art and the protocol of the secret place. Help them. As he blasts this trumpet, I'm telling you there will be from, from, from the front to the back, the choir, many of you who are called into the ministry of prophetic psalmistry, there will be a breaking forth from within your spirit. The grace that brings songs and sounds from the spirit. May that mantle rest upon you now. Take that grace now. May that mantle rest upon you now. The quickening of the spirit. I release you to the realm of prophetic psalmistry. Songs from heaven, songs from the throne, songs from heaven, songs from the throne. I'm hearing in my spirit restoration that that which has left you that should not have gone there is a mystery that is bringing it back to your life therefore I prophesy mantles lost opportunities lost relationships lost by the anointing of the Holy Spirit may they begin to gravitate towards your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now hear me. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing I'm seeing a coffin and I'm seeing it dug inside the ground like a burial but then mysteriously I'm seeing it come out again and what was in it is coming out like a dead body I know that this is a prophetic message that God is bringing resurrection giftings and mantles that have died dreams that have died I'm about to pray for you I'm seeing at least the number seven. At least seven people. This anointing is coming on you. That grace that brings and makes for resurrection. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, everything that has died, we decree and declare by the Spirit. Talita Kumi. Let there be resurrection now. Help that woman, please. Talita Kumi. Let there be resurrection now. Every dead vision, every dead dream, every dead ministry hear the word of the lord the same way lazarus came forth 
dreams come forth visions come forth in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is is it victory or victoria i'm hearing vict, victory or victoria there's a name like that i want to pray for the sick now but just just to talk to one or two people is there someone like that Vic, is it victory or victoria please make sure you what's the name huh? Huh? victoria I want to pray for you please help this lady she's under the strong influence of God's presence I want to pray for her this my dear sister listen to me the Lord is saying I should tell you remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for he's doing a new thing in your life in this season I stretch my hands upon you and I pray in the name of Jesus that anointing comes upon your life let it be a new season for you in the name of Jesus what do you do ma'am I'm seeing you counting money. Yes, sir. What do you do? I'm a banker. The Lord is going to lift you in a way that will surprise you. Please look at me, madam. I'm seeing problem in your office. I need to pray for you. If I don't pray for you, they will involve you in something that you have no business and they will force you, they will share. I'm seeing them share money like money was missing and they, they is that true? I know what you're talking about. You're, okay. So I'm, I want to pray for you that God will exempt you from this. I stretch my hands here at Reha IC in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. May the grace that lifts lift you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone with the name Joshua. I presume there might be a number of people there. But I'm seeing someone the name Joshua. Joshua. Is there someone like that? I want to pray for you very quickly. The name Joshua. What do you do, sir? What do you do, sir? I'm a student now. You're a student. I want to pray for you. Because what I see God doing in your life and your family will surprise you. Believe me when I tell you, you will handle wealth that will surprise you. This man, I don't know anything about you, sir. But you believe what I'm telling you? Yes, sir. I, I sense that there is a strange restoration of finances. Please believe me when I tell you this. People have lost monies in businesses. People have lost opportunities. Monies, financial opportunities that have gone. There is a hand that is calling it back. That's why we are lifting the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. All the Joshua's who are here. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There's someone, your mother is in the hospital right now. We're about to pray for the sick. That will be the last thing we'll do. But the Lord is showing me someone, your mom, biological mom, is in the hospital. And the Lord wants us to pray because I'm seeing the spirit of death. I, I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm just revealing what God is showing me. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is, whether you are here or following online. By the message of the God of heaven, we extend and preserve her life. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, we shut the gates of the grave and we declare the fullness of her days she will fulfill. For those of you who are out here in the name of Jesus, may the Lord help you. May the Lord show you mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone called Agnes? Agnes. Agnes. I'm hearing the name Agnes. If you're here, your name is Agnes. I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing a door open. A door open. Agnes. Hallelujah. Please verify. Is, is, are you sure? Someone help me. What's your name, madam? Where are you coming from? I'm from Anambra State. I want to pray for you. I saw a door open. And the Lord is opening that door for you. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, let it be for you. There is a couple, I don't know if both, uh, uh, both of them are here, but I'm seeing three years. I know it doesn't look like um, so long a time, but you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. The Lord wants to settle you now once and for all. Please, who is that? Is there, is there someone like that? Don't be ashamed. God is settling you once and for all on this issue right now. Agnes, in the name of Jesus, 
I pray for you. Who is that? I'll pray for you, but this is this is not what the couple I'm seeing in my vision, but I'll still pray for you. In the name of Jesus, my dear, may the power of God touch you. In Jesus' name. Something is going to happen here now. Um, I would always I don't I honestly don't know why God does it. Every time He's releasing the grace for speed, people are going to start running by the Spirit. I just sense that anointing. Help them. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing that mantle is coming on people, and you will find out that you will start running by the spirit. For many of you, you will be surprised. Ten years will come into one year, and God will grant you that speed. I stretch my hands at the count of three in the name that is above all names, from the front to the back. I decree right now, may a parakatos katina kapare. Please help them so they don't enjoy themselves. My God, help this woman. Help that madam, please. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, receive speed to your destiny, speed in ministry, speed in business. Every delay, I stand by the voice of prophecy and I cast it over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you, sir. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you and I agree with your wife. According to the time of life and by the power that raised Christ from the dead, no matter what the medical condition is, and I use them as a point of contact for others, any, anyone here trusting God, whether for yourself or for your loved one, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, I decree and declare, Please bring the lady that shouts now loud under the anointing. I just saw fire just from the altar. There is a strong anointing. Please bring that lady. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord show you mercy, sir. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, let this be the end of this situation. In the mighty and even the marvelous name of Jesus. Now we're going to pray for the sick. This is the real reason why I felt stirred in my heart as the Lord gave me that instruction to just ask the man of God to come. Thank you so much, sir. We're going to pray. Let me tell you this. I truly believe in the healing power of Jesus. I am a product of that healing power myself. I have been sick. I know what it means to be healed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I declare that this power of witchcraft over your life, I curse it by the God of heaven. It must let you go in this atmosphere of glory. And hear me, if there is any foreign spirit gaining access to anyone's life, if there is anyone here under the sound of my voice that is under the influence of any strange spirit that is not the Christ at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus as you shout that name you wave that spirit goodbye forever are you ready now one two three shout Jesus we deliver now once and for all from every power Help them, please. Every spirit. This is Mount Zion. And upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and even holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. The name that is above every other name. hear me please lay your hands you are trusting God for a miracle don't keep quiet if you know there is something the devil is using to afflict you end it now once and for all no matter what it is agree by faith 
there is a sound that is coming Makatos I tell you I sense the power of God I want to pray for the sick please lay your hands right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest please believe in the healing power of Jesus you are my hiding place you always feel my heart with songs of deliverance kabarata shalakata barata gatibete sagata barat katos kodu brande gatele katos oto barata brata katos de brande skuti balakosia let the wind say i am strong Now, while the shofar comes, with it comes a healing anointing. Receive your healing right now. My God, miracles are happening to people right now. High blood pressure healed in the name of Jesus. Breast lung healed in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead. My grace. Ulcers be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. My great headache is been healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blood condition here, hear the word of the Lord. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every troubling genotype we change now in the name of Jesus symptoms and traces of cancer it dies now in the name of Jesus hepatitis be healed right now in the name of Jesus blood conditions of all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you are having severe chest pain it doesn't matter whether you walk or not and it's beginning to affect you you are having breathing problems if this is not covid oh, but it's affecting you in the name of jesus the power of the holy ghost is touching you now for someone the lord is showing me it started from a dream you had a dream and from that time you have severe weakness in your body you wake up from sleep and it's as if you've not slept right now the life and the power of jesus is surging into your body now there's someone having pile pile in the name of jesus this just started it's not it's not it's not really advanced i pray for you right now that devil of pile leaves your body now there's a condition called gastritis the lord is healing someone from that condition right now please believe please believe we are almost done believe in the name of jesus there's someone your this is my left your left ear i don't know if it's that you have a problem with that left ear i'm praying for you right now wherever you are by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus let there be a miracle for you now i prayed for breast lung but i'm still seeing that case again in fact for one it is multiple lungs it's not just one multiple lungs i decree and declare every planting in your body that is not of the christ i command that it lets you go now yeah. so
someone you're having severe pain with your vertebra i don't know what just back severe back pain you almost cannot bend over like this in the name of jesus i'm praying for you right now the power of god is touching you there is there is a man in this place i'm not asking you to come out but you're not you're not you're not young you should be you should not be less than 55 i'm seeing you're already seeing symptoms of prostrate what they call enlarged prostrate this is affecting you but the power of the holy spirit is coming upon you right now and i decree and declare enlarged prostrate you are of the devil leave this body now leave this body now leave this body now whether the case is mentioned or not in the name of jesus hence you have come here return with an evidence of the power of god return with an evidence of the faithfulness of god in the name of jesus christ someone your hand your like your shoulder area i'm sensing severe pain around in fact i'm feeling that pain right now i decree and declare unto you by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be life and healing now in the name of jesus christ all of you who are here in front i decree and declare the impartations the deliverances the healings and everything you have received they remain permanent with you in jesus name every door that has been shut over you before now we declare over that door this night not tomorrow this night may that door be opened now and i decree and declare by the end of this conference for many of you you will stand and sing that song that pastor nat sang see what the lord has done you will array your testimonies like trophies and the nations will stand with you to celebrate the faithfulness of god let me pray for you finally everything that makes for spiritual laxity and lukewarmness prayerlessness wordlessness associations around your life that are demonic and devilish and destructive by the power that raised christ from the dead be separated from all of these things the grace to pray let it rest on you the grace to study the word of god let it rest on you high level spirituality may that grace rest on you in the name of jesus and for everyone who is a faithful worker and is connected to this vision this ministry standing by and standing with the man of god as he does what he does i pray for you we are praying for everybody but the bible declares that the worker is deserving of his wages i pray for you for the nights for the days for the moments for the sacrifices may the god of heaven who is able to reward men openly may he bring your reward speedily in the name of jesus and by the power of the holy spirit standing upon all the graces that are here present i pray for you that no one who has attended this conference will return back without a testimony let this be a I'm going to pray and ask the lord for in grace Jesus lord i am tired of shadow boxing my christian experience i'm tired of i'm tired of guessing trial and error now i've been born again saved for 10 20 years but i i have not been able to put together the spiritual principles that help me reveal and glorify you now you have taught me i obtain grace someone pray lift your voice in one minute and pray for just a minute or two please make sure you focus on jesus and pray Of all these spiritual principles and these laws that I've taught you, you know the ones that are not yet at work in your life. Obtain grace from God. For some of you, you are, you are neglecting the law of relationships. For some of you, you have not accessed the favor of God. For some of you, dishonor has closed doors for you. For some of you, you have not even laid down everything. There is no surrender in your life. 
for some of you value and contribution you have entertained mediocrity in your life in ministry in business in career it's time to come up here someone is praying one more minute are you crying to god it's time oh god to blow me like a chauffeur to the nations prepare me i strive for mastery hallelujah listen one of the advantages of being a master or striving for mastery is that you redeem time every time you fail an exam they either dismiss you from that system or you recycle time again is that true sometimes that time can be as much as one year lack of mastery will make a journey of 40 days to become 40 years someone is praying one last prayer father let my mastery of these spiritual laws bring efficiency to my spiritual life go ahead and pray in that which you have called me to do those who have gone ahead of us have shown us that these are the keys in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for you as we wrap up tonight's service father I thank you for the privilege again that you have granted unto us to bring your word many within this place and so many more following and connecting from their homes you have spoken to us tonight on these spiritual laws these are the laws that help men to gain mastery in life and destiny i pray in the name of jesus that for every one person here who is yet to gain and lay hold of these spiritual principles the grace to do so is released upon you in the name of jesus i pray for the diligence to understand and master these laws and that as you engage them your life will be nothing short of a sign and a wonder where you have been down may these laws lift you up in the name of jesus and where you have not been able to bear much fruit that brings glory to the name of the lord may this loss accelerate your results in the name of jesus this week be full of divine surprises for you everything that has refused to walk in your life we force it to walk this week in the name of jesus and particularly for those of you that the word came for over things like death and the rest i declare that this prophetic declaration over your life acts as a shield against every onslaught of darkness in the name of jesus christ your spiritual life will not go down your prayer life will not go down your passion for god will not go down keep going from glory to glory in jesus name i pray May I end to cry to the God of heaven and tell him, Lord, I desire to manifest my priesthood. I desire to manifest royalty indeed. I desire to manifest my priesthood. For many of us, our prayer lives have gone down. Many of us are not spiritual. Remember what I taught you. There is no spirituality in our lives. We still act carnal. We still act natural. In fact, it says the natural man does not receive anything from God, nor can he understand them, because the carnal man, because they are spiritually discerned. Many of us need to come out of carnality to be driven sensually, that there is no advantage. You are not tapping into the resources of the spirit to live an excelling life. Don't be neither here nor there. You have to be determined that I want to walk with God. 
so you are going to pray lord i am ready to be a priest and a king culture my words culture my lifestyle culture my understanding my appreciation for spiritual things open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray are you praying you are crying to the god of heaven by the spirit of grace i desire a rich spiritual life i am first a priest unto god a priest unto god offering up sacrifices lord grant me grace to perform my priestly duties the duties of prayer the duties of intercession the duties of the secret place the duties of the altar i receive that grace go ahead and pray whether you are a businessman whether you are a minister of the gospel whether you are a career person a family person regardless the geography of your assignment you are first a priest hallelujah please look up there is a structure in scripture that makes for excelling in this realm it's a tripartite structure number one king number two priest number three prophet it is a tripartite formation all through scripture when you see it the synergy of the kingly dimension the priestly dimension and the prophetic dimension kings in ancient times they reigned and they did well to the degree to which they were connected to priesthood in fact it was the priests who in many cases doubled as the prophets who ordained the kings and the kings will have to still tap into the resources of the spirit as it came from the priests and the prophets don't lose that formation now by the spirit of god you've been given the advantage of that that duality you are a priest by the ministry of the holy spirit you can connect to the realm of the spirit tap into the rich resources of heaven the bible says that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in christ and it takes the Holy Spirit searching the mind of God to reveal those things to you. Eye has not seen, the Bible says. Ear has not heard, neither has it entered the heart of any man what God has in store for them that love him. It says, but he has revealed it unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Priesthood. It's time to fan back your prayer altar and pray with intelligence and pray with understanding don't just pray as a superstitious Christian pray as one who has regard and respect for the word I have taught you this go and listen to the teachings there are many other teachings along this line coming the prayer ministry must be major in your life you can pray amiss Apostle James taught us but you can pray with precision the bible says this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything according to his will he heareth us and if it is true that he hears us then we receive our petitions granted priesthood the ministry of prayer the ministry of the word granting you high level spiritual illumination you cannot become a priest in ignorance jesus himself knew what to do you have to know what to do on the matters that surround your life first from a spiritual standpoint then wisdom and all the dimensions that help you manifest your royalty you need wisdom hallelujah i am pounding on this issue of your spiritual life many believers pray many pray as a ritual because we're in a generation where there is a heightened appreciation of the ministry of prayer whether we are praying and miss or praying with accuracy at least we pray and that is commendable hoping that god will fine tune our approach to prayer but when it has to do with spiritual intelligence light accurate spiritual illumination being granted access to understanding many believers are grossly deficient the body of christ is grossly deficient we have lots of spiritual statements greek and hebrew matters that we communicate but they are not methodically arranged to give us victory 
I know something about ministry. I know something about prayer. I know something about angels. I know something about Greek and Hebrew words. The Bible says, let him that thinks he knoweth anything know that he does not know anything as he ought to know. So we must cry like Colossians 3.16 admonishes us to let the word of Christ dwell in us in all richness and in all wisdom. It says, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, in spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. The mountain of the Lord's house, according to the prophecy that was given Micah, it will be a house where knowledge will proceed. It says they will say, come, let us go to the house of the Lord, the mountain of Jacob, at the house of the Lord, and he will teach us his ways. He will teach us his ways. He will teach us his ways. Genesis 33, Exodus 33, and verse 13, Moses was crying unto God and he says, show me now thy way show me your way i want to understand your precept then verse 18 five verses later he now says show me your glory you cannot have his glory until you understand his ways are you ready to pray lord i am ready in this season to be to open up my spirit for high level spiritual illumination i am tired of ignorance i am tired of shadow boxing not having spiritual intelligence someone pray open your mouth and pray the intelligence to be able to navigate my way around life and command the victory that befits royalty show me oh god open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things from out of your law someone is praying those following online make sure you pray we are asking the lord to grant us illumination by the spirit illumination by the spirit illumination by the spirit someone is praying it says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course but i have said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high it says you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes hallelujah the last prayer point i'm going to give you and then we'll wrap up for today please look up the Bible spoke about a strange man in the Bible called Uzziah who became a very prosperous and a mighty man and the secret behind his might was that Uzziah set himself to seek the Lord he says and for as long as he sought the Lord the Lord made him to prosper there is a relationship between seeking the Lord seeking the Lord is proof of humility is proof that you are incapacitated and you do not know enough To seek the Lord. The psalmist said, as the deer pants after the water brooks, so my soul. Many of us, your, your passion for God is going down. God is showing you in dreams. God has used the prophetic to show you. God has used experiences to show you. Something is going wrong with your spiritual life. Don't wait until it goes down to the point where you become a victim of any assault of darkness. Last prayer point fan my passion for you fan my passion for the house of god fan my passion for spiritual things someone lift your voice and cry to god it is not compulsory but if you are serious with god cry to god from the depth of your heart fan the embers of my spiritual life fan it back to flames take away laxity and unseriousness from my life it says return to me and I will return to you. Is someone praying? Fan my passion for you. Fan my passion for your house. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. That the house of the Lord would not be something you drag yourself to. And when you go and sit down, you're just waiting for service to end. So you go back. It's with delight. The psalmist said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house.
Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this. When your passion for the house of God goes down, I assure you that the platform for your growth has also been destroyed. It says, when I came into the sanctuary, then understood I. The house of God is a place of understanding. Hallelujah. When the devil wants to destroy you, he will make it look like a burden to come to the house of God. I am very touched and humbled when I hear that people from as early as 8, 9, 10 are already here and they sit patiently till the service, praying, studying, their Bibles are not being distracted. Let me encourage you, God is no man's debtor. This God you see, he will visit you in a way that it will be evident to all. Are you learning? I just returned from a trip and then came here and I could see my people, they were just looking at me and I'm sure that if they had their ways, they would just say, Apostle, you stretch yourself, please sleep. But even the devil knows that for as long as I am breathing, now, and it is not because God has made me head over this vision by the privilege of God's grace it is my passion for the house of God if you do not have passion for the house of God I am telling you it's an attack you are either backsliding or it's an attack or both you, you fight it passion for the house of God because you will get more than money there in the house of God you will find strength they go from strength to strength as many as appear before the Lord in Zion have you been edified tonight so please go back and kill that laxity take responsibility over your spiritual life Please understand that every time you appear before God, you are not doing God a favor. You are not doing a man of God a favor. I tell you sincerely, <clears throat> it is for your own benefit. Bishop David Oedipo would tell us that everything command God gives man, it is entirely for his own benefit, not for God's benefit. Make up your mind, the house of God. Make up your mind to engage the word of God. Learn, sit down, be a student of scripture. Let your knowledge not just be Sunday after Sunday. You can go to the, the, uh, the YouTube page and there are so many teachings. Camp with them. You hear the testimonies of people here. They will tell you, I sat with this message. Some of you, if we give you a recommendation of teachings, listen to this, add this to it. Like a doctor's prescription, you usually would go because we live in a generation where we want instant, sharp, sharp. Anything that is lasting is subject to the law of time. God wants you to be built. He doesn't want to throw you up so that you come back in shame. He wants to build you like an edifice. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every spirit fighting your spiritual growth fighting your passion for the house of god fast, uh, fighting anything god in your life i command it to give way finally this night i command it to give way finally this night i command it to give way finally this night hear me and any association around your life that makes god look like a burden and a luggage either because of westernization or because some kind of deception of hell i separate you from those associations some of you the moment you lie down to pray is the heat of the sun that wakes you you don't have the sensitivity to wake up even when the holy spirit is beckoning on you wake up it doesn't have to be that there is until there is danger waking up to pray is part of your spiritual growth routine you must discipline yourself prayer is not about being passionate you don't bath because you are always happy to do it you don't eat just there are times you don't even want to eat but you have to eat for your health he spake a parable that men ought always to pray and not to faint please kill that laxity don't say apostle spoke over my life the demon will run away build stature build power in the secret place there are many of us easy things are still hard because you are still a child shake off certain limitations some spirits should not be disturbing you again 
because of the excellency of the fire that emanates from your life the same strategy satan used in your life two years ago and defeated you hands down he's still coming with it again and you've not grown enough to detect it Abba! the spirit of understanding understanding of scripture and understanding of the ways of god in the name of jesus may it rest upon you now high level spiritual understanding i impart that grace upon you now in the name of jesus i decree and declare the grace to fight ignorance ignorance of the ways of god ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom i declare that grace released upon you now the grace that will allow the word of god transform you transform your speaking transform your lifestyle transform your appearance transform everything about your life may that grace rest upon you now and hear me everywhere you have been living a defeated life kings are known for excellence there is an aura of victory always around them there are kings who slay themselves when they find out that their kingdom their treasures everything has been taken they literally kill themselves because they feel there is nothing there again can i tell you this for any one of you who does not have the evidences around your life that should validate that you are a priest and a king in the name of jesus i declare over you may the lord supply those evidences lavishly shame and reproach i drive it far from your life 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 in the name of jesus let the spirit of power rest upon you let the spirit of wisdom rest upon you let the spirit of might rest upon you let honor rest upon you let the grace for favor rest upon you the grace that attracts resources let it let it rest upon you in the name of jesus christ i'm saying it from the depth of my spirit may this grace that makes for honor let it rest upon you may this grace that makes for favor let it rest upon you you are a distinguished people and when you step out everybody will know that you are Beulah and Hephzibah like that garden that the Lord has blessed let there be results to your Christian experience I forbid a frustrated Christian life I'm not ashamed to bless you all wise if you need a car I release it in your life if you need a house I release it in your life if you need a job I release it to your life in addition to your spiritual growth I prophesy upon your life everything that will make you comfortable to serve the Lord I stand upon this altar I declare may that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ and for those of you here who are in ministry and you're not getting the kind of results you should get in the name of Jesus from this night barrenness in ministry comes to an end you have tried to open a door for a long time and that door has refused to open I break that door now help them please I break that door now listen a door is a system for access it midwives one room and another it midwives one dimension and another when that system for access is closed you can weary yourself at the door i'm praying again every door that has refused to allow you go forward i stand by the god of heaven let that door be broken now 
believe it i'm placing something on your life may that door be broken now hear me and for those of you who god gave opportunities and you misuse the opportunities is there hope for a tree i want to tell you that you are in a kingdom where god can restore i prophesy to you in the name of jesus everything that left your life either through carelessness or demonic attack or lack of discernment or abuse and misuse by the prophetic i call it forth to your life now i call it back to your life now every troublemaker in your life not allowing you sleep not allowing you rise who goes to your destiny helpers before you arrive there manipulating them to reject you in the name of jesus i cut you away from them and everybody who asks you where is the evidence of your being a christian this week may my god start answering them not next week this week may my god start answering them oh may the mighty god arise for you arise for your children arise for your family Let me pray for those in government leaders and politicians in this house i'm not ashamed to pray for you i will pray for you in the name of jesus may my god distinguish you i place an anointing upon you may god distinguish you in a way that will surprise you captains of industry may my god distinguish you businessmen may god distinguish you career people may god distinguish you you will become strange men and women of influence whatever makes resources run away from you i stand by the power of the prophetic and i declare over your life anywhere your resources are across the globe not just in nigeria the wisdom the favor and the stamina to attract those resources i decree and declare receive the grace for it now Everybody who came here from outside this state or from outside this nation I stretch my hands to you in the name of Jesus may the God of sudden visitations the one who can give you a consolation for your sacrifice may he visit you tonight 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 not tomorrow help that lady tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you hear me I pray for our online family all those connecting from diaspora the thousands of people and potentially millions whether you are watching by way of a rebroadcast you are following live by television or by internet I speak over your life receive it by faith wherever you are may the Lord turn your life around may the Lord change your story may you know him more may your Christian experience carry results in the name of jesus christ final prayer the kind of anointing that must rest on you and cause everything around you to blossom it says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine for a forest may that anointing rest upon you now grace for signs and wonders supernatural manifestations exploits by the spirit creation will answer to you everything will answer to you help that lady animate and inanimate things in the name of jesus can i tell you this listen i don't stand to brag before you but I assure you by God, there is nothing I call that does not come. I stand by this grace and I declare everything you have called 
and has refused to come i push it by prophecy he must obey your call opportunity dimensions resources receive it in the name of jesus wave your hands to jesus give him praise father we honor you and we thank you wave your hands to jesus from side to side let him know that you have received thank you jesus the bible says with prayer with thanksgiving with thanksgiving thank you jesus you will return into a realm of strange testimonies some of you may not know what has come on your life no you didn't come to church with what is on you now i assure you by god no matter how anointed you are i am telling you what is on you now you didn't come to church with it you are carrying back something upon your life that you did not come to church with in the name of jesus pray please put your hands down in the god that answers prayers the bible says unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come go ahead and pray as i bow my knees to pray you just believe by faith i'm praying now go ahead go ahead declare i would always say that this is the most accurate representation of your desires the bible says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it someone is praying lord this oppression will never return again turn my story change my life give me a testimony if someone praying connect me to strategic helpers go ahead in the next two minutes let the mighty god arise even over the issue of concern give you a testimony in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now i'm going to pray and speak over this i just sensed again in my heart to just call our father up and to just make one fatherly declaration we are made by the food we eat and the words we receive said Jesus Jesus said man shall not live by bread alone but that he can live he should live by food and words hallelujah father in the name of Jesus I decree and declare over these requests I declare that the God of heaven will arise on your case the God of heaven will arise on your case in the name of Jesus finally your laughter arrives I say it again finally your laughter arrives everything that represents sadness here in the name of Jesus we drive it like smoke before the wind finally your laughter arrives finally your breakthrough arrives in the name of Jesus Christ for many of you the deliverer has a reason for you and what you will be counting are testimonies after testimonies after tonight in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak over your life in Jesus name that these Egyptians you see today you will see no more forever 
in the name of Jesus Christ please let's receive that is the first thing we should receive from his life that this is 84 years and standing Koinonia, raise your voice and say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For the word of God says, What things soever you desire, what things soever, what things soever, I'm looking at what things soever here. So, over these prayer requests, I decree. And declare under the anointing of this house, the man of God in this house. I decree and declare your requests are answered. Yes. The louder amen you shout, the more it will happen for you. And so the month of June has opened to you before June. Let's celebrate him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Why do we speak over people? Listen. Why do we speak over people once and again? I learned this from our fathers of faith, especially in this nation. You see it in the life of our father in the Lord. Daddy Gio. You see it in the life of our father in the Lord, Bishop David Oedipo, and every father of faith. Those words you see that they speak over people have turned ordinary people into signs and wonders. We are made, you see, let me tell you, the word is like a tray. It does not just come empty. If you ask me to bring water, I will usually put it on a tray. The moment you see the tray coming, you begin to rejoice because no responsible person sends an empty tray to you. A tray is always carrying something. That tray is the word spoken through the lips of faith that when it comes, it carries supernatural virtues that if you receive by faith, your life will change in a way that will surprise you. I'm about to speak over your life this is a major part of the miracle service we are made by the words we receive in the name of Jesus let me start from where our father stopped even before June I prophesy June open up for God's people June open up for God's people In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, everything your eyes have seen, but your hand is yet to handle. Let this be the season where your hand will take possession. Let this be the season where your hand will take possession. In the name of Jesus. There is a relationship between laughter and victory. No man steps into the realm of victory and then does not laugh. I decree and declare. Another word for saying you are walking in victory is to say this season is your season of laughter. Laughter in the morning. Laughter in the afternoon. Laughter in the night. Everything that makes for shame and sadness by the power that raised Christ from the dead let it be far from your life Mary said how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man how shall I have this business seeing that I know not any destiny helper how shall I excel in Abuja in Lagos in Jos in Maiduguri in Europe, in US, in Asia, seeing that I don't have anyone. My prayer for you is the reply of Angel Gabriel. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. 
the power of the highest shall overshadow you in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the moment the power of the highest overshadowed Mary it was possible to give birth every time the power of the highest overshadows you you will always give birth to something a vision a dream a new experience therefore I decree and declare that which must be born from you in this season give birth safely do you believe in the grace for favor hmm. yes sir yes sir I will keep speaking over your life till the favor of God becomes a signature grace upon your life I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ favor with God and favor with men receive it favor with God and favor with men receive it favor with God and favor with men receive it every destiny helper anointed by God in this season to locate you and to hold your hands as you rise whether in the area of career whether in the place of raising your children whether in your home and your marriage whether in your spiritual life everything delaying that destiny helper I cause that spirit to give way now and then I prophetically release the helpers of your destiny to your life may they locate you may they bless you may they lift you in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the spirit that makes you labor for things and when it's time to enjoy them it is taken away from you I decree and declare every good thing you start with your hand you will see the end of it with your eyes in the mighty name of Jesus let me pray for your health the spirit that is roaming across Nigeria and Africa bringing mysterious sicknesses upon people you will see healthy looking people but in two three days something just brings them down I stand in partnership with the grace upon our father if at 84 he's still jumping like a young man then in the name of Jesus we who are his children we stand here by faith and I decree and declare enjoy health enjoy health enjoy health enjoy health enjoy health physical health mental health financial health where you have been called rejected where you have been called an outcast oh Zion I decree and declare by the power help him in the name that is above all names this is the season where men will look for you in the morning they will look for you in the afternoon they will look for you in the night they will look for you and they will not come empty they will come with their treasures like the magi they will come with gold they will come with frankincense they will come with man to honor you in the name of Jesus Christ thou shalt not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day every arrow roaming across from altars to destinies I declare minus you I say it again minus you minus your family minus your business minus your destiny minus your health no power will cut short your life before your time in the name of Jesus Christ finally I pray for you there is a grace that rests upon a man that can cause that man to be passionate about the things of God when that grace rests upon you you will not struggle to pray you will not struggle to study you will not struggle to have time with God I don't know where you have been struggling in your spiritual life but I stretch my hands as one who has been shown mercy by God I decree and declare fresh fire upon your prayer altar the discipline to wake up and pray receive it 
the discipline to pray through till you break through receive it the grace to pray with answers receive it number two i pray for your word study life every lukewarmness and spiritual laziness in the name of jesus i cast it from your life receive the grace to be passionate for the word number three anything fighting your zeal for the house of god i bring it under arrest right now in the name of jesus finally i pray for you any association and any human vessel programmed by the devil to loiter around your life and stop you from entering your glorious destiny in the name of jesus prophetically from this altar i bring a separation now groups associations people i break you free from them may the grace for honor rest upon you go and shine go and excel i say it again go and shine go and excel hear me let nigeria open for you let europe open for you let america open for you let abuja open for you let the six show political zones open for you everywhere you need to be to serve the purposes of god i declare the grace for visibility that will take you there may that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus and thank him for tonight like the woman with the issue of blood you're waving your hands in thanksgiving lord i will surely return with my testimony i am in a season where you are visiting me giving me mighty and marvelous encounters hallelujah hallelujah before we wrap up i know our time is spent but i want you to pray in one minute even though i've spoken over your life father june is the sixth month i decree and declare we are stepping into half of the year from january to may anything you said should come into my life and is not yet there i release my faith in the name of jesus i'm entering into the season of those supplies those spiritual supplies go ahead and pray pray in one minute january february march april may the month of june will be a month where you will give me rest roundabout rest roundabout in the name of jesus christ lift your hands to hallelujah heaven. bless the name of the lord lift your hands to heaven bless the one that we so praise the one we adore is someone thanking jesus for the marvelous things bless him give him thanks give him all the praise and all the glory we exalt you O god king of kings lord of lords someone is blessing him We see the rain of your love We see the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear We see the rain of your love we see the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear so let it rain let it rain open the flood gates of heaven let it rain let it rain let it rain open the flood gates of heaven open the flood gates of heaven lord let it rain
hallelujah please ask the lord for an encounter tonight lord open my eyes and give me a destiny altering encounter even by your spirit Is someone praying the bible says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Father, we bless you from everlasting to everlasting. May your name be praised and exalted even in our midst. We have come tonight to hear you speak. We have come to be transformed. We have come to encounter your word and even your spirit. Visit us tonight. Give us encounters that last. In one minute, please, no movement around. In the we are name going to cry to God from the of depth Jesus. of your heart. Lord, I'm ready to step up to a life and a Christian experience that produces results indeed. I am tired of shadow boxing my life up today, down today, tomorrow, spiritually, financially, and otherwise. You have taught me tonight the power of systems and structures. No wonder the bones in my destiny have not come back. To become a great army because the bone has refused to come to its bone i take responsibility for my state right now and i obtain grace someone open your mouth and begin to pray please pray from the depth of your heart outside pray all the overflows pray following by way of television praying or online pray make sure you are praying We're wrapping up. Talk to Jesus. My life needs to shine forth. This is the season of strange results. It's my season of marvelous light. Lord, you have brought me light. I need to systematize my results. Systematize my spiritual growth. Systematize my mental development. Systematize my approach to life. Approach to learning my business my organization the ministry you've committed to my hands you are there to help me but i obtain grace to put systems and structures leadership structures a modus operandi that is derived from scripture that will produce consistency of results a code of conduct and a code of operation pray a code of conduct and a code of operation a system that is derived from scripture 
that governs how I behave and respond to life. A system derived from scripture that governs how I do the things I do. That my actions become predictable. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne we raise a sound we raise a sound for he is god and god alone hallelujah one more time now unto the lamb upon the throne we raise we raise a for he is God and God alone. For he is God and God alone. Hallelujah. 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 I want to speak over your life now and I want you to receive it with your heart not just by the lifting of hands but from the depth of your spirit listen this organization is related to lack there were 5,000 people randomly arranged in that crusade ground but when it was time for feeding Jesus says before bread comes let them sit down arrange everybody let there be order structure it so that the distribution will be well can you imagine that even with that order there were still 12 baskets imagine what would have been wasted in the disorder i've been to redemption camp i've been to mfm camp i've been to almost if not all the major campgrounds by the grace of god sometimes i look at these magnificent ministries and these campgrounds and I wonder, what system did they create to manage people like this? Do you know what it takes to manage people like that? How do you sit down and know that over 30,000 branches, 20,000 branches, 10,000 branches are healthy and you are in one place? And the Holy Spirit told me, God is still seated on the throne. And yet every Christian, he has not had to come to the earth to follow compliance even in heaven when lucifer rebelled it was the system that fought him god already put a system god never had to stand up from the throne and say ah who is threatening my stay there was already an allocation of responsibilities the bible never said god fought he said michael it didn't say any angel there was an angel allocated to make sure justice god is the one who sits upon a throne made up of righteousness and justice but because of system even in heaven today you don't find people run into the throne room just to bow there is order and there is system there is what must be said before they say what is the lamb heaven without evil still has doors and gates say systems when Jesus walked upon the earth he told the people let them sit down and when they sat down he carried five loaves two fish he blessed it he said now go to the system that is already organized and begin to prosper them listen the testimonies that will come out from this because many of you you see this is what the devil has been fighting this is why your christian experience does not look exciting because you are up today with zeal and passion and then you go down sometimes painfully then you start again but my bible says the path of the just should be as a shining light that shines ever brighter go and write out every area that is not working in your life or the area that is epileptic in its result you will check there and find out that a system and a structure is what is missing maybe not lack of character 
maybe not sincerity of heart some of you there are friends that are long overdue to get out of your life wrong associations most of them are unbelievers but because you have not created a system in your life there is no legitimacy to say no they are your classmates they are your friends they are your tribes people when you create a system let the system do the fighting are we together you're going to pray one last prayer you're going to ask the Lord to visit that area in your life where your results need to be predictable in your Christian experience that one area go ahead and pray you're about to receive something to cap up this series you have learned about the spirituality of life you have learned about the fact that the realm of the spirit controls this realm you have learned the various laws that make for dominion now the lord has brought us into this understanding of systems and structures bone to his bone hallelujah hallelujah when joseph was leaving a prophecy as prime minister he gave them a word he said someday the lord is going to bring you an exodus out of this land and he says make sure as you are going carry my bones with you do you know what he was saying do not forget the structure do not forget the formula that made you to excel even in a strange land as you leave this land carry that understanding with you not just a physical skeleton alone carry that understanding if it worked for you in in uh, egypt it will work for you any other place every organization runs by systems and structures there is no luck when the results become sustainable you can have short-term results that is purely by luck man of god it's time for the ministry to rise i don't doubt your call you are anointed you are a prophet you are an apostle you're a pastor you're an evangelist but the problem is the system businessman with what you carry you should be relating with the kings in that industry but lack of system has brought you down it's time to go back and reorder your life let me be able to know that every day you pray every day you study scripture let me be able to know that you have predefined times when you fast you don't have to announce it and tell everybody there are times that there can be corporate fast but when is your own personal one let me be able to know the times that you can go for retreat alone what is the system in your life when there is an attack what is the system in your life when something good happens to celebrate you must go back and give your life that level of meticulous definition and i pray for you in the name of jesus that whilst you are focused doing that may the grace of god work for you may the mercy of god speak on your behalf in the name of jesus christ anywhere you have not gotten sustainable results by reason of this series in the name of jesus the power to begin to command results receive it in the name of jesus christ and hear me anything that should have been released in your life but was withheld whether by demonic forces or it was a deliberate act of god to help you so you do not lose it when it comes i declare that now that you know these things may the mercy of god release it to you now there will be no wastage in your life from today no spiritual wastage no financial wastage no relational wastage no mental wastage no depleting of your health in the name of jesus christ and hear me for those of you who have who are now experiencing any kind of depletion or any kind of trouble that came directly because you did not understand systems and structures whether you are owing financially or maybe your health has deteriorated as a result of this or your relationships have plunged into misery or something is wrong with your spiritual life the same way the hair of Samson grew back by the mercy of God I decree and declare that his mercy speaks to that issue now everything dead or dying in your life by this proclamation it jacks back to life now 
but like i always say there are two areas that are my main focus number one is your spiritual life number two is your finances let me speak over both in the name of jesus that the least among us here may you be as great as david that the least among us globally the global koinonia family may the least among us by grace be as great as david and even for the body of christ in the name of jesus christ may god begin to mature the saints across denominations across regions across nations in the name of jesus christ then i pray for your finances that when men say there is a casting down for you i decree and declare by the power of prophecy may you say there is a lifting up i want you to believe there is a grace for what i'm telling you i'm saying it again in the name of jesus anyone here who is in need of financial breakthroughs because of seasons in your life that you are in i stand by the god who has shown mercy that in the name of jesus may those doors be open speedily open speedily open speedily may my god touch the heart of men to bring treasures and blessings to you and let me pray over you whatever it is that you do the work that you do whether ministry your career business whatever it is in the name of jesus i empower it to begin to produce results in the name of jesus christ dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline